Hello, my name is Dr. Scott Young with Hearing Solution Centers, and today we're going to talk about the analog versus digital hearing aids. Coming right up. Okay, so when we have this thing called the analog hearing aid, let me tell you a little bit about what happened. Now, in the past, this is all I used. It was a little tiny screwdriver. It's actually made by a company called Siemens. Now, I've been doing this for 32 years. And when I would order this, here's what essentially happened. We would do the evaluation. I would tell them exactly the prescription that I wanted in there. By the way, still, maybe 10 to 20% of audiologists ever pick the prescription. And you go, well, who does? The manufacturer. I'm like, that's ridiculous. I never want manufacturers picking it because I was the one that saw the patient. You want the person seeing the patient doing that job. Okay. So what would happen is that I would have an in-the-ear hearing aid, that means the, a full shell type of thing, and I would put two pots on it. What they are is trim pots, and that one would adjust for the highs and the other one would adjust for the low frequencies. And we're trying to adjust that in, for the ba best kind of way, but there really weren't very many things I could do. If they came in and complained about X, Y, or Z, most of it was probably I could do a little tweak here and there, but there wasn't a lot that could be done. And the success ratio of some of the hearing aids in the past was a lot lower than it is today. And that's what analog hearing aids are. They're not even made anymore. You can't even get an analog to save your life. One of the last companies that stopped making them, um, I mean, start and was making them was back in 2004. Realize that. The companies went out of business. And I have this friend of mine that called me a couple years ago, and he's from Australia, and he wants, he wants repair parts for his analog hearing aid. I'm like, dude, that is not out there anymore, okay? Now, with the digital hearing aids, digital hearing aids have a little bit different way. Instead of analog hearing aids where 90% of it is done by the manufacturer and 10% is done by that end audiologist or dispenser, it flips it. See, in the digital age, overall, there, we still do the evaluation and we send you know, the, the basic kind of points, but I and my, my staff, what we do is we're gonna pick the exact prescription. We're very picky on that prescription with that. And more and more audiologists are starting to learn they have to understand the prescriptions. But I've seen manufacturers that don't like you doing that. And, and I never work with those. Okay, so the reality is we're gonna pick that prescription and then we get it in and hearing aids come in that, you know, I'm wearing them right now, they come in as a tabla rosa. What does that mean? That means that <coughs> it is a blank slate. So when you have a, a blank slate, other than the prescription, 90% of that is done by that end audiologist. I mean, for instance, we've had a little trouble with the internet. It keeps you know, turning off in the morning. And when it does that, I mean, it totally messes up our day. We have troubles being able to do anything because all of it's hooked up to the internet. To, it's a really secured site. So don't worry about that stuff. But it's hooked up so we can pull down the software and do the, do the updates and the fixes and all these other things. Because hearing aids have as many as 115 separate adjustments. You see, we've gone from those two adjustments that I have my handy little screwdriver to as many as 115 adjustments that are done by the computer. And because we can do that, it even goes farther than that. You can bring in your iPhone or your iPad, and we can do it through my iPad. And I'll kind of show you a little bit about this. But, but one of the things that happens on this, and I'm going to show you, pull up one of these kinds of uh, parts here on the iPad itself, and you can see it with other videos, we have the ability to adjust to the different sounds. And so it can go in there and let you, you know, change things, go into, you know, normal all around mode to restaurant, to outdoor and even music, or t and then it can even go into the TV and I watch my TV programs through that. So it has all of this cool stuff and that's another area that we have to work with. I have this lady that just, I just fit her with some really excellent hearing aids. And when I did this, I said, but you know, have you thought about an iPhone? She goes, well, yeah, I've been thinking about it. Oh my gosh, you really got to get one. 
I mean, because then I can make more adjustments for you and you can do them at home and you can talk through your hearing aids with that. All that stuff has changed our industry dramatically. And for some of those old time radiologists, it becomes a little harder to do. And I have to work harder every day to keep up with those massive changes that are out there. But I do that. And so do my staff do, and they're a lot younger than me, but that's the reality of, of the, the situation. So we can be able to take care of you in a lot of unique and cool ways. So just give us an opportunity to be able to show you the differences. So you can give us a call, it's 918-388-6644, or you can kind of see us online at heartulsa.com. Thank you so much. <music>